So if you want healthy skin, then just having a good skincare routine is not going to be enough. And you also have to drink up to 8 glasses of water each day. Keep yourself hydrated like that. Catch up to 8 hours of sleep each night. And eat healthy foods which are low on fats and also um, low on sugar. And you need to combat stress. You can do that by developing good habits of yoga and meditating as well. They will increase your general well-being and give you mental peace as well. And the results, collectively the results of all these measures are going to show up on your skin, right? So it's not going to happen just by consuming good food but not taking care of your skin externally. You just have to manage it both ways. Then about the basics, since there's so much of information about products and skincare routines, you need to choose and plan wisely, right? and not just blindly trust influencers or celebrities. It's always going to help if you've done your own research and you know what products suit a certain type of skin and uh, what is harmful, for example. Then another myth that we need to address is that cheap products are ineffective and expensive products are magical. This is a big no-no. Of course, exceptions are always going to be there. In case you've got sensitive skin, that is skin which easily breaks out or turns red or stings or burns while applying several products, then in that case you must consult a dermatologist and only use the recommended product and not just pick up anything and use it on other people's recommendation. Another basic rule of skincare and hair care is that all the products with fancy fragrances or the products which are heavily scented, they're not good because these fragrances are actually due to parabens or phthalates or benzene derivatives which are harmful for the skin and the hair. So irrespective of the kind of skin you have, try to stay away from such products and educate yourself about what type of skin you're having, that is whether it is oily, dry or combination skin and look up on the internet what do doctors and dermatologists tell you about products which will benefit your particular type of skin chalk out a routine for yourselves and once you have it planned out then tell yourself that you have to be consistent with it to get the results that you want then the internet talks about the famous ctm regime or the ctm skin routine and insists on toning being an essential step and firstly if you're using a toner make sure you're using an alcohol free one secondly this regime is actually not mandatory and the essential routine is actually cleansing, moisturizing and sunscreen. With sunscreen being a very important step which many people tend to miss. Now I'm going to do a detailed video on sunscreen sometime later but for now I'll just tell you that uh, using a toner and a serum is absolutely optional and in case you're looking towards using one you must incorporate them in the correct order. And of course, use an alcohol-free toner, please, if you're using one. And in case you're using them, then the order goes as cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer and sunscreen. Now talking about skincare and hair care in pregnancy. So the first thing is that when it comes to sunscreens, they still remain mandatory, but you have to stop using the chemical sunscreens. That is avobenzone, oxybenzone, octisalate and methyl anthranilate if I talk about few of the compounds and what you should be using is the physical or the mineral sunscreens they are safe the American Academy of Dermatology also states the same and these include zinc oxide and titanium dioxide these form a barrier on top of your skin and these reflect the sun rays and they also protect from tanning and I am going to be doing a video in detail on sunscreens and how you choose them and other features and what all should you look for what is better for which skin type then other things you need to avoid as i've mentioned before are the fragrant products because these contain phthalates parabens and benzene derivatives also the retinoids which are an important part of anti-aging regimes which are available as retinoic acid retinoin adipalene and tizanotene then next come the sulfates which are either uh, SLS or SLES that is sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl ether sulfate. So 
you go through the ingredients of the product that you are purchasing and in case it contains sulfates do not buy it and there are many many brands which are manufacturing products and you can always look for the label of paraben free preservative free phthalate free sulfate free on them and apart from this you also need to avoid aluminum chloride which is a component of some deodorants then hydroquinone which is a skin lightening agent then bisphenol a thioglycolic acid which is present in some hair removal creams formaldehyde which is still found in some nail paints and also uh, a urea compound diazolginyl urea which is a component of some mascaras and also oral salicylic acid that also needs to be avoided so basically these are the labels or the symbols you will look for when you buy any product when you're trying to conceive or you're already pregnant always safe to go for the ones which have a dermatologist recommended symbol on them and i will be doing my next video on skincare routine how to decide products for it if you want to see such self care and skin care videos please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you